over 10 games over 500 for his career. From a walk-on DB, and Don Nealon, guy he replaced as the head coach. And how about Willie Foster's having an outstanding season, the Big East Special Teams Player of the Week. Last week, 71 yards on a punt return against Pittsburgh. He has a touchdown against Villanova for, for 93 yards. So he is having an outstanding year. And the scoreboard clock is out, so they're going to keep time on the field. And here we go. Pat McAfee gets us underway. High short kick. And at the 15-20. And that's Slayton. Make that Underwood. Taekwon Underwood with the return. And Rutgers is going to put it in play the 26-yard line. So there's Ryan Hart going to lead out this offensive crew. He's in his senior year. Boy, we watched him uh, develop over the years, John. He's going to believe. Yeah, I know. Here's the four years it's done already. So the scoreboard clock is out. They'll keep the time on the field. They're having difficulties right now. First and 10 Rutgers, 26-yard line. That's Leonard in motion. Toss play, Rice. Try to get to the edge, and Rutgers can't get a lot done there on the far side. Keelan Dykes was there to make the tackle. Let's take a look at Rutgers starting offensive crew. It'll be Rice and Leonard, Harris, Moses, and Tucker. This is as good a group as there is in the Big East in terms of moving the football. The offensive line, Sosa, Judah, Stapleton, a starter at the beginning of the year. Glass and McDonald are the old heads in this group, and they are the leaders. Short gain on that play by Rice. Second down and eight ball at the 28-yard line. Rains picking up again. Here's timing throw over the middle to Leonard, and he is met immediately. Good coverage in there by the linebackers. Boom McLean, number 43, was there along with Jay Henry coming back off a knee sprain from a couple of weeks ago, number 42. Crowd brought the rain gear today. Really going to need it. And Rains, the rain has really picked up. In the last couple of minutes since the kickoff, and Rutgers is heading into the wind right now. Third down play. Short drop. And look in, incomplete. And let's see, they tried to get it into Tucker. Tried to get it to Tucker and D. McCann covering for West Virginia. Saw so three and out for Rutgers. Well, great series for this Mountaineer defense. That's exactly what they wanted to do. Set the tone against that Rutgers offense and their skill players. You know, that ball has to be slick out there. That ball floated a little bit on that quick slant from Ryan Hart to Sean Tucker. So defensively for West Virginia, three and out, perfect. Joe Radigan, a 6'5", Richard Jr. from Hoboken, is going to punt. Seventh in the conference this week, averaging just under 40 yards per kick. Dangerous Antonio Lewis is back there. Line drive kick. And it takes a West Virginia bounce. And they're going to have great starting position from the 37-yard line. And Radigan didn't get much on that, just a 31-yard punt. So Greg Schiano's got to wear his other hat right now as D coordinator along with being the head coach. Yeah, I think he's going to see a, a bang it style from this Mountaineer offense too with Bednarik uh, coming out to, to lead the Mountaineers. Adam Bednarik, second cousin of Pro Football Hall of Famer Chuck Bednarik. It's the fourth leading offense in the conference. Just underway here. A rainy day in Piscataway. Bednarik in West Virginia starting at their own 37. And we're going to see a little bit of a local flavor here. Nice stop there by Devron Thompson, the running back with Steve Slayton. Take a look at the West Virginia starters. And the guys who will be handling the ball, Slayton and Waltney, both local. Uh, Levittown, PA, about an hour from here. North, Al North Babylon, not too far from here. Jallo, Miles on the outside, and this a veteran def offensive line. Moses, Sheffy, and Justice are the real uh, experienced players on that O-line. Gain of one, here's Bednarik, first throw, and uh, gets it to the tight end, Josh Bailey, and he's hit immediately by Ronnie Giroux. Ronnie Giroux brings him down there. 
It's only the third catch by the tight ends for West Virginia this year. Here's the defensive look. Ryan Neal's the guy you want to look at. He's having an outstanding year. And Ramel Meekin's doing well as, as well there. Barnaby having a good year. Devron Thompson in the middle, very strong. Good speed on the outside with the other two. And then in the backfield, it's been a depleted backfield. But Courtney Green's the big hitter. Rob Roberson, Giralt, and Barnes back there. Here's a third down play. Swing pass. And take it down from behind. That's Devron Thompson. He catches up with Steve Slayton. So West Virginia with a three and out. They're only able to move the ball to the 42-yard line. Boy, Dave, it really looked like the Mountaineers had that screen play set up perfectly. But Devron Thompson showing him some speed from that inside linebacker position. Today's going to be a day of making third downs, converting third downs, because right now both offense is very conservative early in this game. Whoever moves the chains on third down is going to have an early advantage. Bill Brady on the punt. And you may see the rolling punt. Let's see. Yes, he does. He'll go with the rolling punt. He's been very effective with that. Boy, he nailed it. And a good job kicking it out of bounds so Foster can't return it. Let's see what kind of uh, spot they give him. It'll be to the 16-yard line, backing up the Rutgers Scarlet Knights. Both teams have had a touch. Nothing doing right now in the first quarter. Welcome back, everybody. Big East football, no score. West Virginia and Rutgers. And ESPN Game Plan features 15-plus college football games each week. So if you can't find the big game you want this Saturday, there's a good chance it's on ESPN Game Plan. Don't miss the games you really want to see. And this week's marquee game, some beauties. Minnesota against Michigan. Oklahoma against number two, Texas. And Virginia takes on number 18, Boston College. ESPN Game Plan is available on TV and online to order. Call your pay-per-view provider. First play. And they give it to Taekwon Underwood. And boy, did he get met in the secondary there. Jamal Day unloading on Taekwon Underwood, a freshman from Lawrenceville, New Jersey. And here's the D-line. Keelan Dykes, Hunter, and Wilson, all big guys, 300-pounders. They keep you off of the linebackers. The guys will make a lot of plays. Boo McLean, Jay Henry, and Jeff Nochel. Very active, very speedy in the secondary. Look at these guys. It seems like there's 20 of them on the field. McCann Wicks, Ade Lorello, and Mims. Mims was injured a couple of weeks ago. And here's a draw to Leonard, and they were waiting for that. Loss of about a yard on that play. As he was taken down by Keelan Dykes, number 96. Keelan's a sophomore out of Youngstown, Ohio. Big size up front for West Virginia. They go 6'4", 290 is Keelan Dykes. And Ernest Hunter, 6'4", 300. Craig Wilson, who was moved from the nose back to the outside to the defensive end. He's 6'1", 280. So good size for this Mountaineer defensive three. Second and a long 10. Clock back working uh, properly now. There's Leonard in motion. Stretch play. Rice, too much speed. West Virginia's got it. They run him down. Linebackers laying in wait for him. That was Boo McLee. Kevin McLee, Jr. from Young Uniontown, Pennsylvania. Most athletic of the linebackers. We mentioned Keelan Dykes, the play before. He's the guy that's in the offensive backfield and makes it tough for Ray Rice to get to the outside. Does a nice job of running sideline from that hash to the sideline and just waits for help. That's a key for West Virginia. If you see two or three, four blue helmets around the football, they run to the football so well. Great team speed. West Virginia's defense, second ranked in the Big East, entering today behind Connecticut, which knocked off Syracuse, dominated Syracuse last night. Sam Johnson in motion. Third down and long. Hart throws off the back foot, throws a floater, it's dropped. Dropped on the far side by Trez Moses, their number one receiver. With 18 catches. And a wasted opportunity for Rutgers. Yeah, and a missed assignment up front. Ryan Hart had no time to set his feet and find a wide open Trez Moses. So they have to get that done up front because Morty Ivey, the linebacker for the Mountaineers, came in untouched, made Hart want to throw the football a little bit earlier than he would have liked. Radigan's first punt, not a good one, just 31 yards. Let's see if West Virginia comes after him. Vaughn Rivers and Antonio Lewis keep the receive. Good snap. He gets rid of it quickly. Kicks it high. Not too deep, but he kicks it high to get away from it. And gets a Rutgers bounce. Get good hang time. 4.6 seconds on that punt. And that punt covered this time 39 yards. Here's this week's Suzuki walk-on way of life. 
and it's Ramel Minkins. He has done an outstanding job nearby Westwood, New Jersey on the D-line. Look at that, 15 tackles, almost five tackles for loss, and a couple of sacks. Six quarterback hurries as well. So congratulations to Ramel Meekins. Well, Dave, if I'm West Virginia first down, I might want to play action and throw the football, gamble a little bit, and try to make first down a positive. I think the rain's backed off a little bit, as, has, as does the win from the 39. And they run it off a right guard. Massive humanity <laughs> off of the right side behind Garen Justice and Jeremy Sheffy. And Ramel Meekins in there making the play. Jamal Westerman as well, but Meekins plugging up that middle. That's a big body inside, and this is a defense that's been depleted on the back end. The secondary's had problems, number one, stopping people, but number two, with injuries as well. Owen Schmidt in the backfield of this. Spread formation, blitz coming from the edge. Ben throws, and he gets it to Owen Schmidt. Far side, got the first down, Rutgers territory at the 49-yard line. Devron Thompson brings it down. First down, West Virginia. Richie uh, Rodriguez told us a couple of weeks ago, Schmidt happens. You That's right. 250 out of Fairfax, Virginia. Transfer from Wisconsin River Falls. Right, Richie Rodriguez, head coach, said he was killing our first team uh, defense last year as a, and he was redshirt. He had a big, sitting out. big day against Maryland, three touchdown day. First and ten for the Mountaineers. Wind at the back of Bednarik. They blitz from the edge, run right at the blitzer. Big run here for Slate. Slayton at the 35, at the 30, 25. Stays on his feet. They're going to mark his progress all the way down to the 21-yard line before Corey Barnes brings him down. First down for West Virginia. Steve Slayton. The MVP of the Philadelphia Catholic League out of Corn uh, Conwell Egan High School. Well, the problem is right here, you, you run yourself out of the play, does William Beckford. He runs to be blocked. He should collision and try to hold. He's got the last, last guy on the line of scrimmage. He has to keep that running back to the inside and blow up the would-be blocker. But they use speed in the offensive backfield, and Steve Slayton is a guy that can get it to the edge and then go north and south. 28 yards for the freshman, 5'10", 195. First and 10 Mountaineers. And Neal. Meets him in the backfield this time. There's a tackle for a loss. Loss of two yards on that play. Ryan Neal having an outstanding year. First team all Big East performer last year. Had eight sacks. He got four already this year to lead the Rutgers Scarlet Knights. Yeah, this is a guy that's third in the nation in tackles for loss. He'll make it 11 tackles for loss. He's averaging two and a half per game. So this is a guy that loves to work and, and stay in that offensive backfield. Mountaineers go no huddle. Slayton, four carries, 32 yards so far, so Greg Ciano got to find a way to stop that young man who's been Narek under center this time. Schmidt, the motion man, straight drop against the blitz, and that's going to be blown dead. Looked like that left side of the offensive line for the Mountaineers, a little bit eager to start. Part of snap. False start. False start. False start. On the offense. On the offense. Number 62. 62. Five-yard penalty. Remains second down. Ryan Stanchik. Called for the foul there. 6'4", Richard, freshman out of Cincinnati, Ohio School. Cincinnati, Ohio. He went to LaSalle High School. Second down and 16. So a second and 16 coming up for the Mountaineers. Come in 1-0 in the Big East. Knocked off Syracuse in the opener. A lot of cushion on the outside here, Dave. Wouldn't be surprised they try to throw a hitch pattern to one of the wideouts. Ed Nerick looks at a four-man rush. Flush. Ball is loose, comes right back to him. So there's a fine play right there by Ryan Neal. Gets a sack, Meekins in there as well with help Neal from Jamal Westerman, number 90. But the Nerick with the throat came out of his hands and it came right back into his lap. Well, only a four four man rush, but Ryan Neal, the first man at the quarterback, is very fortunate for Ben Nerick to get this football back. Jamal Westerman did an excellent job of trying to strip the football after Ryan Neal met him at the quarterback. Third and long. Third and 23. Eight yard loss on that play. Here's Bidnerick to throw. Blitz coming up the middle. Throws left side. Got a man there. Slate knocked out of bounds. He'll be short of a first down, though, as he gets inside the 20 to the 17 yard line. Quintero Frierson, junior out of Coral Gables, knocks him out of bounds. That's a gain of 16.